Hello Coffeeholics, welcome back. It is the holiday season once again and what happens many of our viewers here would probably be waiting for Starbucks holiday flavors. Today we are going to recreate a favorite Starbucks flavor. We are going to make Irish cream cold brew. But for this video clip, I'm going to show you two different ways. One is we're using a cold brew, regular cold brew. And for those that have no cold brew or have no time to make cold brew, you can also use a regular French press brew coffee. For the recipes today, I am going to make them in 22 ounces cup. And I even have an old Christmas cup from Starbucks here. And also a plain one for the other version of the Irish cream non-cold brew. For the ingredients, I am going to use the original Irish cream. Now, because this is a cream and not like what is usually used at Starbucks, which is syrup, then I am going to have to mix my cream with the cold foam. So it's not going to be vanilla cream on top and Irish cream syrup at the bottom, but it's going to be the other way around. For the vanilla, I am going to use Starbucks's vanilla syrup here. You can use any brand. You can even use homemade vanilla syrup. Click the link above for details on how to make your own homemade vanilla syrup at maybe 30% of the cost of this bottle. But anyway, because we're making a Starbucks recipe or Starbucks menu, I'm going to use a Starbucks vanilla syrup. And again, if you don't have vanilla syrup, you can also use sugar syrup. For cold brew, if you're using 100% Arabica, I would suggest you go from about 1 is to 5 to 1 is to 8. This one is a strong one, so I used 1 is to 10. Next, let's take a look at the ingredients for the Irish cream cold foam. We need whipping cream. We need sugar to stabilize the whipped cream. We need milk and we need our Irish cream, Bailey's Irish cream. Let's start by making our Irish cream cold foam. I'm going to use my electric milk frother here and I have here my whipping cream. Start by whipping the whipping cream with the sugar. Whip. What we're looking for here is a texture that is not very thick. We still want it to be pourable and yet light enough to float on top of our drinks. And to make this lighter even, I'm going to add milk and also my Irish cream. You can see the texture of this is very creamy. And here we are just going to whip it for just about a minute or even less. Okay, so just whip it for about a minute and you should get a very smooth texture like what I have here. Okay, now let's assemble our drink. This is venti and I'm going to Put four pumps of this, which is about 30 ml. One, two, three, four. Now this is 30 ml or one ounce of vanilla syrup. It is on the sweet side. You may adjust depending on your sweetness preferences. Cold brew. And you can either pour your Irish cream cold foam or you can just scoop it up on top of the drink. Sprinkle a line of cocoa powder on top. And for this, I'm going to use a sip lid. So you take it using a sip lid. You don't really mix it yet. Let's make our second drink using a regular brewed coffee. So the same way, I'm going to put four pumps of my vanilla syrup. One, two, three, four. I'm using the same proportion of my brewed coffee here. And if you'd like to let the vanilla and the coffee mix so that when you take your first sip, it'll be sweeter. 
and pour our Irish cream cold foam. So one proportion of my cold foam, Irish cream cold foam, can be used for two cups. Put your stiplet on. And this is our Irish cream using non-cold brew. And this is Irish cream using cold brew. Time for the moment of truth. As you keep it longer, your cream will cascade down. It looks good, but I think the faster you serve it, the better, because the Irish cream is heavy. Wow. This is absolutely delicious. No wonder it's very popular. Now try this recipe using my version of Irish cream cold brew, and you'll be pleasantly surprised. I love it. Mm. Cold brew coffee is so refreshing. That cold foam is like ice cream. It is so delicious. It's creamy but light because we balance it with some milk and also making your cold foam budget friendly. Let me try with the coffee. Mm. Well, I used exactly the same coffee and exactly the same proportion of water to coffee ratio. But what I would say is the taste is very similar, except that the cold brew tastes a lot more refreshing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that um, it is very easy to differentiate between cold brew and non-cold brew. Both taste equally good. You can even make this drink using espresso shots or even instant coffee. If you have any questions about these recipes, do let me know. And I'll see you again for more holiday recipes, Starbucks copycat recipes on this channel. Stay tuned. Next, I am going to make toasted white chocolate mocha. Sounds good? Well, stay tuned. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Ciao for now.